a DA. I was going 55 coming home from work. 55 and a 35. I don't really care. Okay. So you can call this. Can you, come, can you no, please no. come over here? No. You're on a, this is on a traffic stop, ma'am. Yes, it is. You can call Dennis Kohlmeyer right now. Okay. I'm telling you why I stopped you. You didn't stop at all. Did you not hear my lights or sirens or no, anything? No, I didn't, actually. I was on the phone. Okay. Well, you're not supposed to be on the phone while you're driving either. Yes, I am. With the hands-free, absolutely. Okay. Why are you so upset at me? I'm doing my job. Mm, you you just admitted that. to me that you were going 55 and a 35 Can on Phillips Road. Can you to leave me alone? It's... Officer Chris Afouli. Can you stay over here, ma'am? This no, is a traffic. I'm not this is a, staying this over is a here. legal traffic stop. Do you have your ID? No, it's a Bro, if this was like any other regular person, they would low-key be in the police car right now because this is wild. Like, she's really acting like the law doesn't even apply to her. She, like, really doesn't even care. And this officer, he's even being chill. But I feel like if it was a regular civilian, <laughs> they wouldn't be so nice. My purse. Here. You have your purse right there. No, this is my lunch. Would you talk to your talk to Dennis? This is ridiculous. Just go away. Hello, sir. Good. Ma'am, can you please stay at the back? This is a le ma'am, this is legal traffic stop. Can you please stay over here? No. Hey baby, get your little guy out of here. Sir, I stopped her for going fifty five and a thirty five on Phillips Road. And she failed to stop. She drove all the way back home and parked in her garage. And now she's not she's not complying with any of my commands. Ma'am, do not go inside. Oh my god. Yep. Bro, this could not be no regular person. They would literally go to jail right now. And she just, man, this is wild, bro. She don't even care that the fact that she was speeding. But like I said, if it was any other person, they would not be so nice. And I don't know. Like, I mean, these are, these are the people that, you know, people elect in office, you know, district attorney and, you know, all that great stuff. So, like, these are what people elect, and this is their true color, sadly. Yep. All right. All right. Ma'am, come outside. You can't just go inside. This is a traffic okay. stop. Here's Don't your phone you, back. I understand the law better than you. Would you just 953, you can you have a law? supervisor come to the scene? No. Get out of my fucking house. Here. I don't know why I don't know why you're acting like this towards me. Because can you please go to the back of the vehicle? I'm not going to. I'm home. I was going I was okay, 50. I don't care if you got home. You were supposed to stop at Phillips Road when I pulled you over. I when my know. lights were initiated. I didn't know you were stopping me. There was lots of other people on the road. I was right behind you. Yeah, there were I, other people on the road too. Okay, I was directly I'm behind not, you. I'm not dealing with you right Can now. Can you please step over here? I'm not going to. What is the reason? And this is the person that puts people in jail. Just remember that. This is how they act. You're, you're so against what I'm doing. I'm doing my job. You say you're a DA? I am the DA. Okay. Okay, let me... She's the, the DA. Get you my badge. I am the DA in the of Monroe I just don't understand the hostility towards me. I'm doing my job. No, you're being asshole. How am I being an asshole? I am the DA in Monroe County. I understand yes, that, but I'm, that doesn't give you a right to I go 55 and a 35. And you even admitted to me that you went 50. I, I understand really that, ma'am. I, don't really I understand that. I don't, you know what? If you give me a traffic ticket, that's fine. I'm the one who prosecutes it, okay? Just go ahead and do it. Go ahead. Go ahead. I just don't understand the hostility. I, I understand no, you're I coming home from work. And half the time I was on the phone with Dennis telling him, why are you pulling me over? You're not even supposed to be on the phone to begin with. You oh, should yes. know that. Oh, 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 oh. I'm hands-free? Absolutely. Okay. You should know the law. Okay. If it is hands-free, that's great. But... At the end of the day, you're going 55 and a 35. That's 20 okay. miles over the speed limit. Okay, you know what? That's fine. You know what I've been dealing with all day? Three murders in the city. And do you think I really care if I was going 20 miles over the speed limit? Okay, I'm just doing my I job. If you, pulled, if you pulled over when you saw my lights, which obviously you did. I thought you were going somewhere else because I okay. thought no one would ever pull a, a black SUV if you ran my plates. I didn't I run your plate. I just called your plate out. And then I'm following you because you're not stopping. So I had to take the air from dispatch. Just please. Nine five three. You can have the air back, by the way. Just come outside over here. No, I'm not going outside. Okay. I'm waiting for you just to leave. Well, I'm...
I'm just saying, bro. This was any other regular person. This officer would not be this nice. Like, bro, like, come on. And she's not even, like, wanting to listen to him at all. Like, she really thinks that she runs everything. Yeah, she's the DA, but the law applies to anybody. It doesn't matter if you're a DA. You could be Superman. It's the law still going to apply to you, bro. Having a supervisor come because that's what my chief told me to do. Do you have your driver's license? I just showed you my driver's license. Show me your, you show me your badge. Thanks, Jennifer. Really? When EMS, a 14-year-old having a seizure, 200 East River Road, apartment 200 on the third because floor. Because I was going 55 up close to the right. She's part of it. She's a DA. Yep, I know. And I was just trying to pull into my driveway. I was on the phone with Dennis Kohlmeyer saying, would you please tell the person who's following me that I'm, just, just, I'm almost ma home? Ma'am, I understand you were going home, but I started my lights back at Phillips Road. Hey. On Phillips Road, yes, yes, you did, and there are other cars. I was right behind you, directly behind you. At, at the end, go, go ahead, at, like, listen, you, you wanna, at the like end of said, the day, go ahead if you want to write me a traffic ticket. That's fine. okay. At the end of the I day, really at the end of the day, I was stopping you for speed. If you I've just had stopped, I've a really bad day. I've been dealing with murders. And I get in the it, and I get the, it. We I, have bad I'm days sorry, also, ma'am. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We have okay, bad days okay, also. My back. I, I'm gonna just add it to the job real quick. You can just go and actually add it. You don't have to use the air. At the end of the day, I was just making a traffic sound, doing my job, what I was supposed yeah. to do. Well, fine. Thank you. Okay. So now, supervisor's on his way, and Who's then we'll the go from there. Supervisor's coming out here. Huh? Who? Sergeant Johnson. I understand you had it. Like, I get it. I, we all have I'm bad days at work. Yeah, I'm going to go in the house. Seriously. No, this is a traffic stop, and, I, and you, yes, out of everyone, should know that if there's a legal traffic stop, which I have, I have the right to detain you until this is done. Then just write me the fucking ticket. I really don't care. Okay. Well, then just hang out at the back of the car. Because. Man, I don't know about y'all, bro. That that smile she gave is low key kind of creepy. <laughs> it's like, man, <laughs> like, bro, I can't get over that then grin just she write gave. Write me the fucking ticket. I really don't care. Like, she look like she dirty, bro. Like, not even, like, not, like, dirty, like, I mean, maybe that, but, like, dirty-minded. Like, I feel like she, she does some evil stuff behind the scene. Okay. Well, then, just hang out at the back of the car. Because I'm the one that's going to prosecute myself. I, you know what I'll do with the ticket? <laughs> okay. Just come out here for me and just I'm stand. I'm not walking out there. I'm not. I'm not. Any baby, right? Corey, you just want to stand up here. Yeah, as long as it's added to the job. Sarge on his way. Because you said time four. Okay. Supervisor, come and then we'll go from there. Oh, come okay. on. Just I, I, this is what my chief wants. That's at the end of the day, you called him. I spoke to him on your phone, and this is yeah, what he I'm wants. Call him again. Seriously. You guys can go. You guys go. I'll wait here with wait for Sarge or LT. Sounds like LT is coming though.
I attempted to stop her on Fire. Phillips Road. Yeah. Going 55 and a 35. Yeah. Didn't see the plate. I was just keeping an eye on the vehicle yeah. because she wasn't stopping. Drove all the way here, yeah. pulled into her garage, got out, was just being aggressive towards me for no reason. I was being respectful. Telling her this is a legal traffic stop, come to the back of the vehicle, no. Then she called chief, then that's why I requested a supervisor. Okay. And now she was wanted to go inside, told her no, you can't go inside, and this is where we're at, so. Bro, I feel like all she had to do was just be normal and just stop and just take the ticket and go home. <laughs> like I feel like she she would have been home and like she would have already would have been about her day. Because even going 20 miles over the speed limit is still just going to give you a ticket. The start, you know, especially with the status that she has, she probably would have just got a warning. It's just the fact that she is so up her own at, like, you know, she, <laughs> that she does she really thinks that the law doesn't apply to her. And she really, I'm sorry, but the looks that she's giving, man, like, that's, that's some dirty ass looks I'm seeing, bro. Like, I feel like, man, she prosecuted some people wrongfully. And I don't know, just that evil look she has, man. I gave it back to her. It's attached to the job and everything, so. I didn't want to stop until it's I was right down the street. I figured I would just stop in my driveway. That's what I figured. I thought, I thought it would be easier. Apparently that's wrong. yelling to one another. Uh, like, I, I don't care just writing her the speeding ticket and being done with it, but technically it's a restable offense that she didn't stop. That's another thing I'm saying too. Like even with this officer saying like it, it could have just been a simple ticket. And she's making it like a restable offense because she did not stop. And that's what I mean. Like she could have really just stopped and took the ticket one about a day. And now they're like wasting time for no reason. Like literally, like that's I don't know. I can't even say this is an ego thing. She just straight evil. Like she just straight evil. That's all I'm seeing. Arrestable offense. I'm like, she came home. She failed to stop. I mean, it's a arrestable offense. I'm not trying to arrest the DA of the county, but also I want. I don't want to not do my job. In, I mean, it's a arrestable offense. I'm not trying to arrest the DA of the county, but also I want. I don't want to not do my job in. Not at least write her something. So. No, I, think I get it, and I'm not like I said. I'm not gonna. I'll at least write her the freaking going 55 and a 20. At the end of the day, I got discretion whether or not. No, I get it. I understand. So. I mean, it's still favoritism because they not they didn't arrest her. Because he's like, you know, I don't want to because, I mean, I, I feel like you would have got some cookie points if he would arrest the district attorney, honestly, because, I mean, she's breaking the law regardless. Like, that just means you standing on business and you standing with your job. But this is what I mean by the fair, like, how she's getting favored. Like, 
if she would have just stopped and took the ticket, just, she would have been fine or got a warning. But she made it very uncomfortable for them to the point like, you know, they can't arrest her. But then it's going to be backlash. And then this is the backlash that they're getting from it. Hello. All right, ma'am. So I'm issuing you speed that's, in the zone, 55 and a 35. That's I'll take care of it since I'll be prosecuting myself. Okay. At the end of the day, if you see my lights and sirens behind you, and obviously they're going off, just pull over. We're going to have a conversation. Wait, is that, like, really true? Like, if they get, like, a speed ticket, they could just prosecute it themselves? I, I thought, that, man, what the? Okay. I mean, she knew that. I feel like she should have just stopped anyway and just not said that. And be on her way. I kept my eye on your vehicle. I'm not going to check my computer to see what plate it is if a vehicle is not stopping for me. I want to keep my eyes on that vehicle for my safety okay, so I make it home at the end of the day. Okay? I apologize, but... I, I, I'm sorry that you had a bad day, yeah. and I'm sorry it went this way, but I do respect what you do. Have a good day, man. But I would say, here's something I should have called this. You know the house... Can I your radio? It's completely unreadable. Directly across from what? The stop sign of Phillips Road. Okay, I gotta put the job in now. Do you know her location? Yeah. I believe she's trying to say she's at the pier of Webster Park. All right, thanks. All right, we'll see you. Sorry. He's Thank just, you. He's just happy he's got confidence. The fact that she even just got a ticket, though, and didn't go to jail, like, I feel like she already, not like one, but what did they even say about that, I wonder? Well, new tonight, members of Rochester City Council are unanimously calling on the Attorney General's office to investigate matters involving Monroe County District Attorney Sandra Dorley. Now, this comes following officer-worn body camera footage from the town of Webster Police Department showing Dorley repeatedly invoking her position as DA and refusing to follow orders. Gio Battaglia joins us in studio with greater details and reaction from one City Council member. Gio. Isabel, the letter specifically requests the Attorney General's office to investigate if her actions in the body camera footage violates any public official standards and whether her actions, quote, reflect the fair administration of justice of Monroe County, end quote. Now, all nine members of Rochester City Council signed the letter referring to a situation that took place Monday evening where a Webster police officer says he was trying to pull over District Attorney Dorley on Phillips Road. The officer claims Dorley did not pull over, kept driving, and didn't stop until she pulled into her own garage. She then immediately got on the phone with the Webster police chief and argued with the officer in front of her. I sat down with Rochester City Council member Mary Lupian today, who says there are council members who feel an investigation wouldn't go far enough. She says the video already shows enough detail, and they would welcome a resignation. I would like to see an investigation into what actually did happen with the ticket, you know, if she followed through on her threat to not prosecute it. Um, and it makes me curious to the cases that she's decided where her head was at. You know, are there other um, people that she felt were above the law, law enforcement, for example? That's what I'm talking about, like, you know, the, the other cases that she dealt with. Because she, man, looks she giving, bro, she look like she evil, bro. Like, like I'm talking about, like, evil character off a movie. <laughs> like, she will ruin your life. Now, we have reached out to the Attorney General's office following the letter from City Council. And as of yesterday, District Attorney Dorley is sticking by a statement released on Thursday where she says, quote, I acknowledge that I was speeding and I accepted the ticket. By 1 p.m. the following day, I pled guilty and sent the ticket to the Webster Town Court. 
because I believe in accepting responsibility for my actions and had no intention of using my position to receive a benefit. That's, man, that's wild, bro. If it was any other regular person, they would have been in jail immediately. Like, thrown in the back of the cop car, don't talk till we get there. Like, it would have been over with, because it ain't just ain't no way. Like, what? I don't know. What? Y'all tell me what y'all think about that, bro. Like, sh if she would have just stopped and just would have got a warning, she would have been good. But she had to make it a bigger situation than what it was and put everybody in such an awkward position, even, like, the chief, too, so... But y'all let me know what y'all think about that. Let me see what else. Do this one. Body cam of a trigger New Yorker. He keys a Trump supporter's car in Florida. What? How's it going? <laughs> How are you? Good. Um, <laughs> Stop. So I'm guessing you probably know what this is about, right? Zero, Victor Alpha. No. No. Okay. I just checked my 